Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash, and giving double honors to the apostles of GMS, those who rule well in truth and sincerity. I'm Yalak Mara from the Shepherd of Berea Camp. Salutations to the laborers out there uh, laboring in the truth and sincerity across the four winds. Uh, this article was uh, shared out between brothers and it says one in six Americans under 23 say they're LGBTQ. That's a lot of individuals, uh, one out of six under the age of 23. So dealing with that number. Uh, I mean, dealing with uh, the youth. It was like, wow, you know, what is causing all of this? And it's prophecy being fulfilled. It's the Lord causing all of it. And why is the Lord causing that? Because the Most High want us to see what the grain, see the grain, one evil seed that went in Adam brought forth all of this wicked fruit. But I'm going to get uh, Isaiah, Lord's will. I just want to put that out there. Revelations, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, because it's written to be that way. Let me just get that first. And then I want to get second address for while my in Sirach, uh, Revelations. <clears throat> Revelations chapter 11, verse 8. Now, Revelations, Revelations, <laughs> Revelation, Salakia, Revelation, okay, was John the Revelator being on the island of Patmos and him receiving visions from the Lord about things that will happen in the later end of the times. So, a lot of these visions. Are, haven't been fulfilled their future events to come so revelations 11 and 8 it says in their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city now there's going to be a lot of dead slain in here thus saith the bible and you see uh um just the other day, they had a meeting, they brought up, which were not black, all right? But they're using these words to cast spells, you know, but they talk about domestic terrorism. They're pretty much uh, coming up with a way to take down a lot. There's going to be a great insurrection because there's a lot of uh, individuals out there. And I'm not saying part of Hebrew Israelites, I'm saying that they got underneath that domestic, you know, got white supremacists. You've seen what happened at cap the Capitol. And so, you know, they are against the government. So there's going to be a lot of dead bodies in the great city, which is America, you know, just off of the New Age Civil War and then also World War Three. All right. But uh, all as well, this is a double entendre because dead bodies also represent being people being in a dead state of mind because uh, people because social media rules over everybody now in these in these days you know people don't know who they are as you can see it says one in out of six is lgbtq what, what, what is that you know what is that it's not even being a nationality anymore it's just that is their nationality now you know that's some babylon man this is babylon all right, it says of the great city, okay, America. America is uh, known as the great city, which spiritually, and this to uh, America's Babylon, all right? Really, we just got to call it for its name, as the apostles said, America is Babylon. All right, this is Babylon. It says, which spiritually, okay, is called Sodom and Egypt. So what was going down in Sodom and Egypt? 
was a that uh culture, all right, that church, all right, or that uh priesthood of homosexuality, you know, because <clears throat> they got their rituals and orders and that stuff. And this the Lord causing them spirits to be put on individuals. As I say, Romans, the first chapter, the most high gave them up to vile affections, the most high mingled the perverse spirit in Egypt. This is the Lord uh doing these things. You know, no one has free will. But what are we seeing from that message of the Lord doing that? We're seeing the fruits of of um when you rebel or you go against the most high in which Adam was seeing the fruits of that one decision. All right. And I'm going to get that in Edris. It says called spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. So, yeah, because the Lord image was crucified here in the Americas. It was pushed as what him being a so-called white man, his name being Jesus, which the Lord doesn't look like a so-called white man according to Revelation. All right. He was crucified with his image. He was crucified with how he spoke. They make him look like he's soft-spoken. When they did that, when they do do movies with the Lord, they make him look soft-spoken, weak. All right. And the scriptures say the Lord has the voice of many waters. So actually the Lord was really spoke very loud. All right. So I wanted uh, to pretty much conclude. Let me get this in Isaiah. 55 and these lessons Lord wills edifying is for us to constantly uh, know the reason why you know not to go crazy oh man it's put you know because it is getting worse but we understand why we have understanding of it other people don't you know other people don't and you know we have kids you know some brothers have kids in this society but overall this is why this place is not our rest you know, because you don't want them spirits jumping on them, you know, at all. You don't want not even just that spirit, no wicked spirit jumping on them, you know. But this society, OK, is a wicked society, you know, and this is why we pray and we hope that the Lord deliver us. You know, it's not really due to the uh, the poverty, you know, you got people that are rich, but it's just wickedness. All right. Constant wickedness, you know. So it says Isaiah 55 and um, 11. So shall my word. I'll start from 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven. And we received a lot of snow. So, you know, this parable should be this should be an understanding with the most I'm about to say. And return if not thither. You know, that that snow is did not go back up. It stayed, you know, some of it is still lingering around. But water if the earth and make if it bring forth in bud. So that's what the you know, they say April showers bring May flowers. That's a like an old little nursery saying. It's is that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So the rain has a purpose to bring forth the the bud, the fruit. That what somebody may what actually eat and be satisfied off of it. So this is the chain of what the water is, is doing. Now, verse 11, it says, so shall my word as the rain, right? Be that go forth out of my mouth. The most high's mouth is like where the clouds or, you know, because rain come from out the clouds, you know, and according to Esau's technology, you know, the most high, I mean, not technology. According to what is seen or interpreted, you know, the most I could just make water come down, you know, but everything comes from the Lord. But so, um, it shall not return unto me void, meaning that what? When the rain came down, it brought forth bud and it brought forth the bud and the flowers, right? You know, that, you know, the, the seed to the soil is that the bread that it may turn into bread, you know, wheat. That it may be made into bread that somebody to eat. So the prophets, the word is going to bring forth its fruit. And these are the fruits we're seeing. 
insurrection of men. All right. Um, we're seeing. OK, listen, they want to demonize those who read out the Bible or call themselves the Israelite. You know, they. Um, the sticking with the topic at hand, the LGBTQ. Right. So <clears throat> these are the word. This ain't happened, and it's like, whoa, you know what's going on. This is like, if you in the in the know or reading, you know, it's in the Bible. The Most High spoke on it, so it's not a shocker. It's more of a wow. The Most High's words came is coming true. That's a lot of people. One out of six, under twenty three. That means you we walk past them all the time. And you do walk past them all the time. And there's a lot of vile spirits. And that means this is Babylon the Great. That's, that's how you identify it. And if this is Babylon the Great, this place is the place where it's going to receive the same judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah. So that means that prophecy really will happen. So you can see the missiles coming down. And if that means the missiles coming down, then that means deliverance will happen. So this is it bringing forth the bud and the, and the bread to the eater. The bread is the knowledge, the understanding. So you're able to, just by it bringing forth, you're able to be satisfied. Wisdom and knowledge shall, uh, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be, wisdom and knowledge uh, shall, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, I'll get it, shall be the stability of our times. There you go. You know, um, uh, what is that? What keeps you uh stable? Your bread, your finances. So this is what's keeping us uh stable. It's bringing forth what the Lord says. So when you see it, it should keep you stable to know that. All right, there's prophecies of deliverance. There's prophecies of that the uh, He's going to deliver His prophets. You know, out out the famine. You know, there's prophecies that fulfilled that. Yeah, <clears throat> you'll be persecuted. Yeah, some will be put to death. But you'll also prophecies about what the resurrection. So <clears throat> when we're seeing it, it's giving us understanding about that. Right. It says it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And, you know, although, you know, as you know, you be in a righteous state of mind. The most high is pleased with all of this wickedness coming forth because it has to be shown with that grain of evil seed because we're going to have to talk about that. We're going to have to show the signs of evolution of wickedness. All it did was start with Adam eating from that tree, just not listening to the Lord, really not listening, and look at what that evolved into all the way now, 5,000 years later. And see, when you go through that history of timeline, it's going to be understanding when you talk to them kids, you know, however it be, it be done, watch the movie or whatever. It's going to be like, wow, you know, like that's crazy. I would never not, you know, follow the commandments of the Most High. And ultimately, it's because the Lord is going to put it in us. And the Most High says that uh, the creature, according to prophecy, was subject to vanity. So. You know, not to say that it was Adam's fault. We did go off, right? But it was set up that way. But um, not to get too off topic, it says that it may give bread, give, no, Salakia, uh, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. It shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. <clears throat> All right, so... It shall accomplish, you know, prosper. It shall prosper. Why well, is a lot of a uh, woman um uprising? The most I said that in Jeremiah uh, thirty three, woman shall compass a man. You know, uh these heathen nations uh, about to go to war. The most I have put that up, said that shall happen. Our evil, like all of these different things we see here. You can actually go back into the words of the Lord and see that the Most High have purposed that. And when they see that, it's to know that, wow, how powerful Yahweh Shem Yahweh is. You know, 
it is really to see that. And then it is also to see, once again, that the Most High have brought all of this forth off of this one thing. Let's get it. Second Edris, chapter 4, verse 30. It says, For the grain of evil seed have been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness have it brought up until this time? How much ungodliness? So out of this tree, out of this, because it brought this grain, this e grain of evil seed brought forth a tree of fruit. Right? So one out of six of these fruits is LGBTQ. One out of four of them probably is murders. One out of four, you know, like, you know, adulterers, uh, you know, because all of this is within this. Uh, uh, um, drug dealers, uh, sorcerers. Uh, they, you know how much ungodliness have it brought up until this time? And how much, so, you know, if you was to sit there and see the statistics on all the things, and Esau does like, has the psychologists where they're able to study the mind and see different, uh, tap into seeing what people are like, uh, what would what, what become like, right? <clears throat> Not to say he's 100% accurate, you know, because once again, he, his algorithms is to, is to demonize the Israelites anyway. But it says, and how much shall it yet bring forth unto the time of threshing? So that's it. How much shall it yet bring forth unto the time of threshing? That's going back to Revelations 11, 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in a great city. Remember, it's twofold, but it's, you know, in America will be a lot of dead. It will be a lot of dead. It said the slain of the Lord shall be many. Verse 31, ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed have brought forth. But he couldn't see all of the evil because, well, Edris will be here now technically, but like at this time, he couldn't see it. For us to see these numbers is for now for us to ponder like, wow, one thing Adam did and, he, and all of this came out. So it also shows by that one action Yahweh Shah did how much it's going to rechange everything. Because, you know, I don't want to say the time, the ideological, I, 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 um, what you call that? I, um, like, you know, they say this is a yang and a yang, uh, you know, the, <clears throat> you know, but there's two sides to it. All right, there's a balance. So Yahweh shall balance that out by making that one move. So it does balance out. But it shows you when we see that, the robberies, the Citizens app, if you got that, it's just going crazy. You know, it's no matter where you go, some places is going to be more uh, vile than others, but everything has its own vile because it says how much great fruit of wickedness, the grain of evil sea have brought. So, you know, no matter, all throughout the world is there, no matter where you go, you know, because the Most High purposed it to be that way, to show you the importance of Yahweh Shai. Let me even tap into that now, because the Spirit is actually bringing that out to me, you know, make, causing me to say that. You know, because I was looking at it on an aspect of how much the evil that Adam brought forth but now it's like now it shows how much important that one movie how it showers to do was to now plant that righteous seed and now bring forth righteous fruit. And which Yahweh Shah did say what? Uh bring forth fruit meat for repentance. So man, this is a uh, wow, you know, at the same time that happened, he you know, cause not to get off topic, Adam is Yahweh Shah. He planted that righteous seed. But this is Yahweh all day. This is his whole program. He he purposed it. He set set Yahweh Shah up to do it. He said, like, this was all purpose, you know, to show the power of Yah the Most High. You know, and it's a it's a uh it's it's beautiful, right? But um 
to continue on and say, ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed have brought forth. Right, so you could sit down and really meditate and think about how great the fruit of wickedness. I mean, you could tap into the gang world, you know, and the gang world has worlds within the gang world, whether you be Crip, Blood, GDK, Latin King, this, Nietas, you know, Zetas, like they got it's so many. And then you see, you know, the culture of how those gangs started and, you know, the top guys of those gangs you like yo this person or that person you know yeah too, yeah man he did it you know so look how the great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil see had brought forth just in the gang world see now i'm talking about lgbtq that has a whole world you know the drag queen world report like everybody like it just it's just man and these are large fruits now you know to where you know you know like Man, it's oversaturated. It's oversaturated. You know, but some of them that's in those lifestyles is going to be, uh, you know, the most high. When he did that, it takes time. It takes time. It takes time. You see? Because some of them, uh, these murderers, some of these drug gang members, homosexuals, they're going to come, they're going to repent. But remember, Adam did what he did first, and then Yahweh Shah did what he did. So they're going to, they just kept, they, it's time is just, it's going to catch up. It's going to catch up. Right? And when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill? And there's going to be a lot of ears that be cut down. That's because talking about corn. Talking about like the ears of the coin, because when it's when it when the ears when you see ears on a coin, that means it's right because it's uh it's starting to show the coin. When you don't see the ears, it's not really fully ripe yet, because it still needs that time to uh, develop. But when it start to the ears start to like it's basically like peeling off in the corn is like shooting out of a cocoon. That's when you know like oh. It, it's saying it's ready, like, you know, free me out of this thing. Like, you know, like I'm 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 ready to go. Like everything sinks in coordination. So that's what the point this place is out. You know, one out of six here. You know, like these large numbers. Basically, the is is saying it's ready. The, the wickedness of the nations. That's why the Lord said in another scripture in Joel, the harvest is ripe. It's funny that these terminologies is being used in the Bible throughout different prophets. Because it's all dealing with that grain of evil seed or when that's going to get out the way. And it was all dealing with, wow, when that grain of righteous seed shall be planted. All right. And that was done and the fruit that it shall bring forth. Okay. But uh, just for the uh, sake of uh, getting this, this is Joel 3 and... It says the harvest is right. There you go. 3 and 13. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is right. Come get you down, for the press is full. The flat, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. What is that talking about? Hey, the whole world has been fine. Like, it, it is ripe. They have ripened in technology. There's a commercial with Michael B. Jordan. Technology is going to bring forth sin to his max. You know, it was an adulterous uh, commercial. But what this devil is doing, he's taking away that feeling for it because, oh, listen, it's just him on a, it's the new Alexa device. Which the new Alexa device, right? It will have, it will be able to speak as individuals who got so you know denzel had that voice now michael b jordan got that voice so they're gonna be able to speak and you could tell them things and they'll use their have their voice speak back to you and then now with the whole thing of these building up these um bots sex bots you could have them in the house you know you could have an actual individual live 
And that's what they were showing in that commercial from the uh, the Michael B. Jordan Alexa commercial. You see, so technology is going to make is going to make it com extremely ripe. That's why in jo Job, the 20th chapter, he said in the fullness of their sufficiency, when they're when they're fully loaded in their sins, you know, when they reach the height of their sins. Technology, think of technology evolving as their sins evolving. Anytime you see something new, like, wow, you know, or technology uh, go to another extreme point, think that their sin is reaching another extreme point. They just put a rover on Mars where you can see it more clear. If they did, if we put it on Mars, you know, because who to say, you know, most I could allow, most I may not allow, but... The point of the matter is that they're evolving with their space. They're evolving with their travel. So every time they're doing that, they're breaking the laws of the Most High because you're not supposed to be traveling in space for the first place. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of things that's being broken. You know, there's a lot. But the biggest will be when they uh, implant RFID chips inside of the most high's uh, people, all right? But the elect won't receive it, all right? But you're going to have a lot of others that will. And <clears throat> that will represent the harvest being right. They built another tower of, of ba ba Babel, they, or they're building, sorry. They're building another tower of Babel in Virginia, We'll let you know that Virginia, these states where they were real big on slavery, they, they're still enslaving the people. They're enslaving the people through witchcraft and technology. But just to show you a grain of evil seed, the Tower of Babel, the Most High didn't like it. So it's again showing you where Babylon is showing you. Uh, he said, I purposed it. He spoke on the daughter of Babylon. You know, I shall discover her. You know, and the Most High is going to destroy the daughter of Babylon. He purposed it. He's making them build this stuff to show you where the daughter of Babylon is. You can no longer say that this place is not Babylon. It has the, they're building the freaking Tower of Babel in Virginia. And the Lord, I want to get this scripture because I just want you to see the correlations of them making the people one or one language. When you take that chip is the one language because it communicates with money. Um, Elon Musk spoke on that. He said about people, everybody being able to communicate with one language through technology, you know, because think about everybody being able to uh their cultures, you know, have a language barrier for you to connect. The, the money system, the reason why they're coming out with cryptocurrency is so the monies can connect with culture and culture. No longer you got to wait for this dollar to be exchanged to that dollar. Nah, boom, here. Bitcoin's all universal. It's one, one, one payment. The chip, RFID chip, the B system will be one. It will be one language, one understanding. So this is what they're doing, and now they're building the Tower of Babel. Uh, Gen Genesis 11 and 5, and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built it. Yeah, so the Lord came down, right, from where he was, all he was doing to see what these dumbasses were doing down here. And I can only imagine, you know, the Lord just had to stop what he's doing, organize, you know, fulfilling, you know, Making the sun come out, making the most high is doing all of this, providing more materials throughout the earth. You know, I mean the most high already did it, but you know, you know, when I'm you know, the most high, you know, doing this heavenly duties being done. And the Lord gotta stop to come down here because let's see, and the Lord said, Behold, the people was one. You see, everybody got this one. One, like everybody's down and they have all one language and this they begin to do. 
and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Everybody's on this. There's a big push in technology. There's big money being allocated in technology because the Most High is he's he's let, allowing them to reach their fullness once again, right? But the reason why is because that's the one language. That's the Babylonians. That's the Babylonians. This is a sign of the Babylonians. Go to, let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So if the Most High was it shut down a tech and all of this and, you know, what they were desiring to do back then, you don't think he's going to do it now? But once again, the Lord said this time, I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them, I'm going to get, you know, they ain't really get to get much here. <laughs> this time he's going to say, I'm going to catch them in the fullness, you know? Um, I'll read down to verse 9. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did confound the, the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. So now they, everybody's gathering now. You know, these odd years later, Everybody's gathering in the name of, 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 of the God technology. Technology is the new God. Everybody's serving it. And everybody's going to become one. Oh, yeah, that's what it made me think about becoming one. They got this thing called the Internet of Things. Where you, the house, you know, because if you have a, a device, right? They the, the, the devices in the house, you could RFID chip your house where... Your TV, you can tell your TV to turn on from your phone. You can turn lights on from your phone. You know, you can, um, you know, set things, you know, do everything from your phone. And so it's becoming one, it's becoming a one language because you, you can, you can able to communicate with your house. You're able to communicate with your house. All right. Now, yeah, it sounds cool and dope, right? But the thing is, is that this is not how the Most High wanted to be done. The Most High communicates with the earth, with the sun and all of that, right? But the Most High, this devil has used the left-hand side of doing it. So those are things that will be done in the kingdom. You could communicate with the chariot, it's gonna, the spirit. Everything's going to be connected, right? Through righteousness. This is a connection through wickedness. That's why they're fighting with China over 5G patents and chips and semiconductors because that's what it takes to operate. All right, this and make this B system be in full flex. Right? So but yeah, that's the uh when I when it came to mind, the most I was like, yeah, that's it right there, the internet of things. That's the one language. All right, because you yourself <clears throat> you can communicate with your body. You can see where your body levels are. You know, you could see where your um emotion le levels are. Am I getting too angry? Am I getting too sad? That's what Elon Musk was showing you. You can now control your uh the the emotions, your brain waves. You can see all your levels. You know, and then you're able to uh you know you you upload it. Is everything is being uploaded? It's a part. It's one system. It has one language. Everybody understands everything. You know, and that's the wickedness because who's gonna who's really controlling that is man. Who who's supposed to know that is God, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. But now man wants to know that. You know, and he's the you deceiving yourself that oh yeah, this is way cooler and I'm able to really know and check my levels and you know, be more balanced because there is not a balance, you know. You know, I mean I'll be more at ease. Because there's so many diseases out there. I seen one where it says like 70,000. If you're having like stomach pains or something with Dabu 7, you know, uh, you know, there's like 70,000 new viruses. Like, you know, this is just what the most high is plugging it. I hold it to say, yeah, here's, I was here to save the day is this devil. Anyway, I've uh, been yapping, but. You know, all through the spirit, all through the spirit, all through the Holy Spirit, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, and Dush. But I'm not, uh, you know, Lord willing, was just adding on to uh, the topic at hand.
So that's pretty much it. You know, you know, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Dash. Um, and you know what? Let me get that with Yahweh Shai. The Lord became a quickening spirit. That was a greater evil seed. But this, 1 Corinthians 15 and 45, 44, it is sown a natural body, right? You know, so that grain of evil seed, it was sown in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a natural, evil, wicked body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a spirit, natural body. There is a spiritual body. It is, it, and so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. All right, so... Um, that's it. That's it. You know, the Lord, the quick, when you quicken, it means to make you be able to spring to life. The Lord, uh, planted the seeds unto life. Adam, you know, there was the seeds of nature of, you know, with nature, it dies it went with the course of the flesh. All right. So Adam, uh, Cain kills his brother because, uh, he's jealous, you know, uh, Esau, he 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 killed his brother because he's he's uh, jealous as well. Oh man, I'm you know I didn't get the oh, he got my blessing. I, oh, I hate you. Oh no, he didn't kill uh Slocky. I'm sorry. He pursued his brother. He hated his brother. He didn't kill Jacob. Slocky, I'll, I'll take that back. Uh, that was a demon. But um um, nevertheless, uh you know all throughout the soul, you know okay, he hated. David over jealousy as well. Oh man, tens of thousands, and they are uh, saw thousands, and King David killed tens of thousands. This is the body. This is the net natural. Then uh, the body is uh, that stuff of nature. It's beastly, like it just you know, it's retarded. So um, <clears throat> nevertheless, uh. Yeah, this this these 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 are the um this this is pretty much it. So you know with that being said, I'm gonna end it off through the Holy Spirit. Kahala Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakadash. Uh double honors again to the apostles of GMS and salutations to the Akim once again that's laboring in its truth and sincerity across the four winds and the Aquaf, the sisters out there. All right, Shalom.